Hi, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Today's book is... The, the Three, Three Bears. Bears. By Paul Galdon. <laughs> you didn't even get... Let's get started. The, the Three, Three Bears. Bears. By Paul Galdon. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived together in a house of their own in the woods. One of them was a little wee bear. One was a middle-sized bear. And the other was a great big bear. They each had a bowl for their porridge. The little wee bear had a little wee bowl. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bowl. And the great big bear had a great big bowl. They each had a chair to sit in. The little wee bear had a little wee chair. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized chair. And the great big bear had a great big chair. And they each had a bed to sleep in. The little wee bear had a little wee bed. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bed. And the great big bear had a great big bed. One morning, the three bears made porridge for breakfast and poured it into their bowls, but it was too hot to eat so they decided to go for a walk in the woods until it cooled. While the three bears were walking, a little girl named Goldilocks came to their house. First she looked in at the window, and then she peeked through the keyhole. Of course, there was nobody inside. Goldilocks turned the handle of the door. That's breaking and entering. That's illegal what she just did. Craig, she's probably lost and scared in the forest. Uh, yeah, well then you don't commit a misdemeanor and trespass into somebody's home. If you're ever lost in the woods, here's what you do. Stay where you are. Yell out for help intermittently. Save your energy. It's always best to carry a flashlight in these situations. Have a bottle of water with you. Eventually you'll be found. Who do you think is watching this? People that might get lost one day. The door was not locked because the three bears were trusting bears. They did no one any harm and never thought anyone would harm them. So Goldilocks opened the door and went right in. There was the porridge on the table. It smelled very, very good. Goldilocks didn't stop to think whose porridge it was. She went straight to it. This girl is a villain. <laughs> That seems harsh. First she tasted the porridge of the great big bear. But it was too hot. Then she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear. But it was too cold. Then she tasted the porridge of the wee little bear. It was neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went into the parlor to see what else she could find. She's not happy with uh, her haul so far. Oh, she's probably... Why this, are you on her side? This because is a, she's a lost little girl in the woods, and so until she does something very bad or weird, I'm okay with someone eating. All right, let's see if it gets weird. There were the three chairs. First, she sat down in the chair of the great big bear. But it was too hard. Then she sat down in the chair of the middle-sized bear. But it was too soft. Then she sat down in the chair of the little wee bear. It was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she rocked and rocked until the bottom of the chair fell out. Down she went, plump, onto the floor. Goldilocks went into the bedroom where the three bears slept. It's getting weird. Probably looking for tools to fix the broken chair. Don't sleep in another person's bed. We don't know that yet. Uh, yeah we do. First she lay down upon the bed of the great big bear. Yeah, it's getting weird. But it was too high at the head for her. Then she lay down upon the bed of the middle-sized bear. But it was too high at the foot for her. Then she lay down upon the bed of the little wee bear. It was neither too high at the head, nor too high at the foot, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she covered herself up and fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears thought their porridge would be cool enough, so they came home for breakfast. And disappointment. Surprise! You had a weirdo sleeping in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Goldilocks had left the spoon of the great big bear in his porridge bowl. He noticed it first thing. Somebody has been chasing my porridge, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had left the spoon of the middle-sized bear in her porridge bowl too. Somebody has been tasting my porridge, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his bowl. Somebody has been tasting my porridge and is eating it all up, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. The three bears went into the parlor. 
Goldilocks had left the cushion crooked in the chair of the great big bear. He noticed it first thing. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had squashed down the cushion of the chair of the middle-sized bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his chair. Somebody has been sitting in my chair and has sat right through it, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. The three bears went into the bedroom. Goldilocks had pulled the pillow of the great big bear out of place. He noticed it first thing. Somebody has been lying in my bed said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had pulled the blanket of the middle-sized bear out of place. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his bed. Somebody has been lying in my bed, and here she is, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. This woke Goldilocks up at once. There were the three bears all staring at her. Please eat her, please eat her, please no, eat her. No, they're not gonna eat her. Maybe they'll just give her a, a stern talking to, a time out. These are wild animals. That made porridge, so maybe they're just frazzled. Goldilocks was so frightened that she tumbled out of bed and ran to the open window. Out she jumped, and she ran away as fast as she could, never looking behind her. Typical privileged little girl just fleeing from the scene of a crime, oh, avoiding God. responsibility. No one knows what happened to Goldilocks after that. As for the three bears, they never saw her again. The, the three bears. bears. Well, thanks for watching Storytime with Ryan Lagan and Craig Toby. We'll see you next time. A Paul Galdon. <laughs> right? Hey, I'm a Paul Galdon. I write kids' books. <laughs> you get cross eyed. A Paul Galdon. <laughs> you have no sense of humor. <laughs> Guys, that was a fantastic book. So if you want to see the next book in our series, go ahead and click this link down here and you can watch the next episode. This is a good one. You're going to want or to see Or if you this. want to see all the episodes in our series, hit subscribe and you'll get an email update whenever we put out a new video. Actually, if you hit subscribe, it'll bring you to the next video. It will? Doesn't it? Just go subscribe. Or go with the next video. Cooperation. See? There it is. <laughs>